Question number 10. The curve C has equation y equals ax cube minus 3x squared plus 3x plus b where a and b are constants. Given that the point 2,5 lies on C and the gradient of the curve at 2,5 is 7. So part A, we want you to find the values of A and B which, have, which carries 4 marks and part B prove that C has no turning points and this has 3 marks. Okay, here you are given a function, a cubic function and this point is on the curve and the gradient of the curve at this point is 7. We need to use all this information to find the value of a and b. When we use the first information, this point lies on the curve. So replace x by 2, y by 5. So it will be 5 equals a x cube, x is 2, so 2 cube minus 3 x square plus 3x plus b. So you'll have 5 equals 8a minus 12 plus 6 plus b. So you'll have 8a plus b equals, this is minus 6, bring it here, plus 6, 11. That's, take it as equation number 1. We are trying to form a simultaneous equation and solve them. The slope is 7. When you are given a function, it can be a cubic function or any function. The moment they say gradient of the function, you need to find the first derivative with respect to x. You need to differentiate this with respect to x. So when you differentiate, it will become a times x cube will become 3x squared minus 3 times x squared. Differentiate x squared becomes 2x. When you differentiate x, it will become 1, so 3 times 1, and your constant will be 0. So our b is gone. Now that's a gradient function, but the uh, gradient at a particular point 2,5 is 7. So if you find dy upon dx at the point 2,5 is 7. This is what you get. But we know dy upon dx replace x by 2 there. So when you substitute x is equal to 2 here, it will be a into 3 times 2 square minus 3 times 2 2 so 4 plus 3, which is 7. Now you can find a easily. So 4 3 so 12, 12 a minus 12 plus 3 is 7. So your 12a is minus 9, comes here plus 9, 16. A is 16 upon 12, or uh, 4 upon 3. Now we got the value of a, which is 4 upon 3. Substitute a in here, in equation 1. So it will become 8 times 4 upon 3, plus b is 11. 8 fourths are 32, so b is 11 minus 32 upon 3, which is 33 minus 32, 1 by 3. So your a is 4 by 3, and b is 1 by 3. That's it. So I repeat this again. You are given an equation, a function, and the point lies on the function, lies on the curve. So you replace x by 2 and y by 5 for my equation. And use the second information, that is the slope of this function at the point 2,5 is 7. Slope means the first derivative of the function with respect to x. Find the first derivative. So your b will be 0 because it's constant. When you differentiate a constant, it will become 0. And equate it to 7, replace uh, x by 2. So you got the value of a, substitute a back in here, you got b. Now in part b, we need to prove that this curve has no turning point. Let's say this curve has some turning points. So if the curve has turning point, the gradient will be, the slope will be 0 at the turning point. That means the first derivative of uh, y with respect to x will be 3a x square minus 6x, 2 times 3 is 6x, 
plus 3 times 1, 3 and b will be 0. This is the gradient function. If we equate this function, uh, we substitute the value of a here. So it will be 3 times 4 by 3 x square minus 6x plus 3. So this gradient function, when we equate it to 0, it will be 4x square minus 6x plus 3 equals 0. The gradient function, we equate it to 0 to find the x coordinate of the turning point. That's the reason we equate this gradient function to 0. So what will happen if the function, if the graph, if the given function has no turning point, then you won't be able to solve this quadratic equation. When you try to solve this, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. When you try to solve this, 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 4 fours are 16 times 3 is 30, 48. If I'm not wrong, 12, 48. 36 minus 48 is a negative number, is minus 12. You cannot find square root of a negative number that tells us that this quadratic equation has no solution. If the gradient function equal to 0 has no solution, that means the graph has no turning point. In other words, you can just find b square minus 4ac here b square minus 4ac, only this thing. It will be less than 0. If it is less than 0, the function has no solution. So that's how we prove the given function has no turning point.